guys can make the best use out of it. Um, I personally uh, was incarcerated for six years. My last visit was about five years ago. Um, I'm 41. In my adult life, I had 11 years in the system. Um, when I came home from prison, I was told that I really couldn't do much besides basically working mediocre jobs, factory, and that I really couldn't or shouldn't look forward to excelling far beyond that. Um, I took that and I let that fall to the wayside, and I took the skills that I had, whether it was from the streets, whether it was things I learned while I was away, I took everything I had, brought it home to sell my own power. Right? I went been home for five and a half years. I accomplished most of this stuff about three years ago. So when you come, when you when you make your mind up of whatever it is that you want to do, the best thing that you can do to get a fast track to where you want to be. A lot of times we think it's the money. In order for you to have a sneaker store, you gotta have money. In order for you to have such and such, you gotta have money. Don't think that way. Think about positioning yourself around the right people. Think of positioning yourself around people that own stores, people that are into sneakers. Position yourself around people that are help benefit whatever it is or direction you want to go. And you'll find that things will happen for you because you have the intention to move forward. A long time ago, I really didn't think school was very important. I'm not a fast learner. I'm not someone that's into reading books. I really don't like sitting in classrooms. But now, after the experience that I've had, I look back now, there are a whole lot of things that I wish I paid attention to in school then. And that way I wouldn't have had to go through so much now. One of the biggest things that I think, when I was fortunate enough to be blessed to have a mother that was there for me, that every time I got in trouble, she tried to help me out. What was, wasn't so smart of me was that I thought that that's just how it is. If you get in trouble, somebody will come help you out. Eventually, I got in trouble and nobody came to get me. And then I had to figure it out for myself. So while I was away, one of the questions one of the young ladies asked me is, what made me turn my life around? It was a book. It was a law of attraction. Whatever you think, you attract in your life. So if you think that today's going to be a hard, boring day in school, today's going to be a hard, boring day in school. If you think that in your mind, there's somewhere down the line you're going to succeed, that you have an idea that this idea is going to take off, that idea will happen. It will happen. The moment that you begin to live life like it's about you, you will always be in a situation where it's always about you. You're always going to be in trouble. You're always going to be in a struggle. You're always going to need somebody. But now if you begin to live life on helping others, you know what happens? People start helping you help other people. And before you know it, you've got so many blessings things available to you, and you can choose which direction you want to go. But all along as you're growing up, you might not see these things now. The only thing I can do is encourage you to pay attention to the people that you see. Not what you hear. Not what you hear. Pay attention to what you see. What you see is proof. The truth is, is that it's never too late. You can always get your stuff back together and move forward in your life. And this is one of the main things I want you guys to understand. Man. You might not see what it is that you want to be, where you want to be in life right now. You might say you want to be right here, right now. But as time goes on, so many more things are going to come to you. So many doors will open for you, but it won't open if you're like this. You can't think that it's always going to be like this. I have, at one point, I never was struggling in my business because I'm always on Facebook. I'm always on Instagram. I'm always reaching out and talking to people, finding people. I don't care if all of you said no to me. I'm going to go to that next one. I'm going to start talking to people. And then they'll probably say no to me. I'm going to go to someone else. I'm, I'm a nutritionist. I got a gym. I sell clothes. Somewhere down the line, I'm going to have something that you won't want to buy. And this is what I believe that you can provide any service to anyone without having to work for someone. So sometimes we think, oh, we gotta go, we gotta go through the ranks, this, 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 that. No, it's not gonna be until 20, 30 years before I'm able to make some money. It doesn't have to be like that. It can be like that now. You can go in whatever direction you wanna go education-wise and still have a business to form an income for yourself. So I encourage you guys now to start thinking about 
where you want to be in life, I encourage you now to position yourself around people that are about the things that you are interested in. I, pay, I encourage you guys to pay attention in school. I encourage you guys that whoever you see as a role model, talk to them. Ask them questions. A role model, a role model feels it's his duty to answer the question. So don't ever think that there is a stupid question. Or he might look at me a certain way. Or this person might feel a certain way because I'm asking the question. Ask the question, the role model will get you the answer. Whatever answer he can get you, he will go find it for you because a role model's job and belief is to help someone. Beautiful day, man. Just left the school, gave a message. Stuff gives give me chills, man. I enjoy doing this. This is for the kids, man, for our future.